Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're looking here. Uh, this is the Fossey Audio K5 Pro. This is a gaming DAC and headphone amplifier. It's a mini one. I got it off to the side here. You can see it's quite small. Made very well. It's all metal build. Uh, very, very nice features here. It says, born for gaming, perfect for your home gaming system. Suitable for... Uh, PS5 computers, PC, Mac, Nintendo Switch, use it on the Switch, works well. Active speakers, etc. Adopts a Texas Instrument NE5532 OP amp chip. Uh, converts USB Type-C optical coaxial signals to 3.5 millimeter aux and RCA signals. It's got a master volume, bass and treble controls, and input mode switch. So this is the box. It's a big box. Uh, inside comes the device, which is a lot smaller than the box. Um, you get your documentation in here. You also get a nice optical cable. And you also get um, a USB cable right here. C to A, the manual. You get this adapter for the microphone because it does have a microphone uh, pass through on it as a microphone jack. So if you have a pair that has a microphone, but it's a single ended output, then you can plug it in here and you can plug it into those two things and use it as well. That worked with my, uh, what would I use on this? The HyperX Clouds and the um, Empows, which I still have. Uh, I don't use them too much for gaming anymore. To be honest, I like a nice open back pair of headphones for gaming. So that's a look at the box. Let's look at the device itself. I thought I had it hooked up. Um, so here you have your output modes. Those are the lights. You have your microphone, your headphone. You have your bass, your treble, your master volume, which also pushes in for the power on. Looking around the back of the unit, there you have your USB-C, you have your optical, your coax, left and right out for speakers. The bottom has these nice big rubber feet. And overall, it's built very, very well. It's a very solid product. Uh, I was very impressed with their dongle deck that I used. I'm going to put that right there. Uh, let's see if we can get some specs on this. So let's see, um, output power of this is a 1000 milliwatts at 16 ohms, 500 milliwatts at 32 ohms, 300 milliwatts at 64 ohms, 150 milliwatts at 128 ohms, and 80 milliwatts at 300 ohms. This has a THD of 0.003. Uh, SNN, 110 decibels, frequency response, 20 to 20 kilohertz. Recommend impedance for this is 16 to 300. Those of you who have those rare 600s, don't, don't try it. It's only a little amp. So this goes to speakers as well, which I did not test because I don't have any speakers right now. Um, they're gone. We're waiting for some more, I guess. Uh, so here's the, the whole thing. Let's see. PC, Mac, PS5, PS4, PS4 Pro. I'm sure this works on PS3 as well as well as Xbox. Nintendo Switch, phone. I did use it off the phone. Worked excellent. Um, you have USB-C, like I said, optical, coaxial, and 3.5 millimeter with mic inputs. Output, you have 3.5 millimeter headphone and jack and RCA out. Uh, USB sampling rate is 24-bit at 96 kilohertz. Coaxial sampling is 24-bit at 192 kilohertz. Uh, we already covered the headphone phone, the headphone in impedance uh, 16 to 300. DC 5 volt via USB-C. And... That's basically it. The weight is uh, 0 0.55 pounds. That's uh, 251 grams. It's very small, very light. Okay, that said, how does this sound? Uh, it has a really nice, clear sound to it. Um, 
it sounds different than than the dongle that I had, where the dongle was uh, musical and all that. This one is just very good clarity, um, and of course you can adjust the bass and everything. When you have the bass up and the treble up, there's nice crisp highs. Uh, definitely some really good bass there that you can adjust. Uh, it just presents itself very, very well. This has good transparency and details in it. Uh, and also a decent array of soundstage and imaging that's very accurate. So it's excellent for uh, the gaming type thing, especially the bass. Turn the bass up if you've got a first-person shooter. Uh, you know, just put them at normal and you listen to that nice soundstage if you're using it for an RPG to get that atmosphere. Uh, overall, I like the microphone feature as well. Uh, it worked good. I don't use the microphone too much on my stuff, uh, other than like right now when I'm talking to you. That's basically more than I use the microphone for than for gaming. Um, ultimately, uh, that's basically the specs for this. Uh, I think in a nutshell, if we were going to describe this, I would describe this as uh, excellent overall accuracy good sound stage, uh, good imaging. There's excellent uh, clarity and transparency with this. Uh, and also, you know, you can control the bass, so it's going to have really good bass. And overall, it can have a very nice, fun sound signature if you want. And it's made very well. And I used it for a long period of time. I didn't find that it got overly hot, which is another excellent thing. And it worked on everything that I used it on. I did the optical from the TV. We did the USB from the computer and from the phone and from the switch. I did not test it for the speaker outs because I don't have... I, most of the speakers that I have are wireless now, including my peach trees, uh, which I actually got rid of anyway, so I couldn't have tested it on them. I'll get a pair eventually, but I'm not a big speaker person anymore. I used to be a long time ago. Now I'm into more headphones, earphones, uh, earbuds, anything like that. So overall, Fosse Audio K5 Mini Gaming DAC. Very decent. Very, very decent indeed, especially for the cost of this. I'll, I'll leave a link up below with the cost. I don't think it says it on this page because it's basically just specs and everything. No, it doesn't say where to buy. I'm sure there's an Amazon link for it, too. But very, very good addition to your, you know, your little computer thing without taking up a lot of desktop space. Uh, and it's made well, and it sounds fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, I think I can highly recommend this as well because it does what it says it does, uh, and it sounds good. There wasn't a lot of, uh, you know, like background noise or anything else like that, so it did work excellent. Even running the, the dual plug thing to the microphone, which I tested it out. Um, so in a nutshell, it's very good. Very, very good for the person on the budget. And it needs some kind of gaming interface. Uh, and I have a bunch of different gaming interfaces. So I do like this one. really do like this one. I've got a bunch from Creative and other companies and everything like that. And I said, well done, Fosse. Uh, it's a very useful product. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was informative, and I will see you again on the internet. Please be safe.